Welcome to the Monty Collier Report. I'm Monty Collier. At one time, Sean Garrity consistently professed Reformed theology. He has had a few essays published by the Trinity Foundation and even a short book. However, recently he has embraced synergism. Sean Garrity is now a synergist. Although he still claims to be Reformed, Sean Garrity publicly teaches that both justification and sanctification are synergistic. Garrity teaches that justification is the product of synergistic activity. Such views assert salvation by grace and works, justification by faith and works, and human free will. And all this in opposition to salvation by grace alone, justification by faith alone, and the absolute predestination of God in all things. And like many heretics, Sean Garrity publicly developed his synergist views over a period of time. Now, there are many public examples of Garrity teaching and defending synergistic justification and sanctification. But in this video, I want to focus on one example from Garrity that clearly shows his change from monergistic justification to synergistic justification. Consider this comment Garrity posted on Facebook's Gordon H. Clark discussion group dated June 29, 2012. In this comment, Garrity writes the following, and I quote, In justification we are all together passive." End quote. Now notice in this quote, and at this point in time, Garrity correctly implies that justification is monergistic and that when we are speaking of justification before God, man's faith is only passive, never active. This is true, for in Calvinism we believe that justification is monergistic, not synergistic, and that man's faith is only passive, never active, when it comes to justification. It is only the object of our faith, the gospel, that justifies, never the act of our faith. And the classic example comes from the Institutes of the Christian Religion, where John Calvin himself states very clearly, and I quote, For with respect to justification, faith is a thing merely passive, bringing nothing of our own to conciliate the favor of God, but receiving what we need from Christ, end quote. Institutes, Book 3, Chapter 13, Section 5. Now, but by September, Sean Garrity's public position had radically changed. Sean Garrity, by September, was no longer merely teaching that sanctification was synergistic, but now he has begun to teach that justification itself is synergistic. In a short period of time, Garrity went from implying that man's faith is only passive when it comes to justification to man's faith is both active and passive when it comes to justification. This, of course, is irrational, not to mention heretical. Garrity writes the following, and I quote, Finally, the faith that saves, or more precisely, the faith that is instrumental in our justification, is passive in one sense, in that it doesn't include works, and not in the other, since God doesn't believe for us. End quote. Now, notice Garrity's confusion here. He teaches that justification... He teaches that justifying faith is passive, which implies that nothing we do, not even the act of believing, justifies us. Yet, then he turns around and states that since Christians do believe the gospel, then faith is active in justification, which implies that our act of believing merits justification. It is important to remember that during the Reformation, the Roman Catholics insisted that faith is active in justification. And by this... What they meant was that the act of believing merits justification, while Luther, Calvin, and the rest of the conservative branch of the Protestant Reformation insisted that faith is merely passive. That is, it is only the object of faith that justifies, not the act. So this is an important distinction, as you can imagine, as you can tell. And Sean Garrity has attempted to take a middle position between Rome and the Reformation. And in doing so, he has departed from Reformed theology. The source of Garrity's confusion is that he fails to see or refuses to believe that it is only the object of our faith that justifies, not the act of our faith. Garrity has the old Jesuit position. You see, it's the old Jesuits. It's their old heresy known as the heresy of evangelical obedience that teaches that the act of our believing, the gospel, is itself a work that justifies us before God. 
And so the Jesuits, like Garrity, concluded that justification and sanctification are the products of synergistic activity. And so justification is confused with sanctification. Law is mixed with gospel, and the result is heresy. Sean Garrity's position is explicitly condemned and rejected by the Westminster Confession of Faith, Chapter 11, which states in Article 1, quote, Those whom God effectually calleth, he also freely justifieth, not by infusing righteousness into them, but by pardoning their sins and by accounting and accepting their persons as righteous, not for anything wrought in them or done by them, but for Christ's sake alone, nor by imputing faith itself the act of believing or any other evangelical obedience to them as their righteousness, but by imputing the obedience and satisfaction of Christ unto them, they receiving and resting on him and his righteousness by faith, which faith they have not of themselves. It is the gift of God." End quote. So notice the Westminster Confession, unlike Sean Garrity, rejects our act of believing as being a contributing cause of our justification. The Confession doesn't say that justification is the product of synergistic activity. Uh, the Confession emphasizes that it is only the imputed righteousness of Christ alone that justifies, and it emphasizes that faith is only receptive in justification that is passive. Thank you.